is Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute. Kendrick Lamar once talked an interviewer's toddler into putting down a dangerous kitchen knife. Oh, wow. Let's talk about this. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Check out Rock Marciano, The Alchemist, The Elephant Man's Bones Review and the Album Review Playlist. So Arthur Jessica Hooper says that Kendrick Lamar once talked her then Tyler to putting down a sharp kitchen knife during an interview prior to the release of Good Kid Mad City. That's K Dot's second studio album that came out in 2012. Hooper recalled the story during a pair of tweets posted online Tuesday in response to a post asking for a true story from your life that sounds made up. Hooper wrote, I was doing a phone interview with Kendrick Lamar when my then toddler son appeared holding a very sharp kitchen knife he did not want to let go of. And Kendrick talk, talked me through safely, disarming him. All right, so let's continue reading. At the tweet began going viral, Hooper added, Well, this certainly blew up. If you would like to read the interview piece I did on Kendrick night before a good kid came out, it's in my book, The First Collection which you can find at most indie bookstores and libraries. In addition to her collection, Hooper's writing has appeared in GQ, Rolling Stone, The New York Times Magazine, The Guardian, um, Book Form, and more outlets over the years. She's also been an editorial director for MTV News and a senior editor at Pitchfork. In response to the story, many of Lamar's fans began replying with lyrics and rapper could have used in the situation. I remember you was conflicted about putting down the big scary knife. One fan wrote referencing to pimp a butterfly. Check out Hooper's tweets below. So let's look at the tweets. So, um, yeah, people, she's saying the same thing I just read already. So nothing major. How do I feel about this situation? Wow, man. I mean, that's beautiful that, you know, he walked her through it. He walked her through that. I mean, like I said, you never know what somebody can do in life. You know, we look at an artist or a rapper, like, oh, they make music and that's it. I mean, they're still human beings. You know, they have touched somebody in their lives. I mean, touch somebody like the soul, your heart. You know, that's like, damn, that music got me through high school, college, maybe depression, maybe a bad breakup, marriage, divorce, anything. Maybe you was at your lowest point in your life. Maybe you went to jail and you heard this song in the cell, whatever. So you never know what you can, what, what you go through or what somebody goes through, man. And like I said, there's songs that when Good Kid Mad City came out, I can remember I had a breakup. Um, my ex-girlfriend broke up with me at that time. And when that album came on, it just really made me feel like, you know what, it is. I'm glad I am moving on. And I had to tell her it's time for her to leave the house because she was just staying there for free. She was just staying there for free. She wasn't paying no rent no more. And I thought we was going to get back together. And I, I'm not blaming her because that was my fault, you know, wishful thinking. So that album made me realize where I was at in my life and just moving forward after her. I was in a better position for myself and to be the better man who I am now today. So everything happens for a reason. So KDOT, not only you actually help disarm the author's child's life at that time with the knife, thank you also for helping me get through, you know, um, a breakup of trying to figure out was I going to be back with the person that didn't want to be with me no more. Post your comments below. Post mask, Black Parent, the like button, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support, and donate to the channel. I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.